Welcome to another video from Guaylao 60. You know, the Chinese have learned something from the West, and uh, it's not, it, it, it's sad to say, but they've learned that doing nothing when there's COVID out there is unacceptable. They've learned from the West what not to do. And uh, being complacent in this day and age is one of those things. We've got people heading out of town, get out of town. The, the university students are all going home. We've got mass testing all over Nanning City. We have uh, sort of a state of understanding. Everybody, everybody's wearing masks. Some of them not properly, but everybody's wearing masks. It's one of those things that the Chinese take it very seriously because they've seen what happens in the Western world when you don't take it seriously. So uh, that's a good thing. If the Western world would watch China the same way as China's watching the Western world, I'm sure that we wouldn't have or be in the position that we're in right now. And part of uh, fighting the COVID here in, uh, well, in everywhere in China, I'm, I'm sitting outside uh, Guangxi University and there's a mass exodus of students heading back home. Why are they doing that? Because everything's getting shut down a little early this year for the Spring Festival or Chinese New Year. So I've been watching all day and uh, the subway is full of people with their suitcases getting the hell out of Dodge. This is outside our complex here in Nanning, China. My glasses are fogging up a little bit. What this is, is this is the COVID testing site. Everybody in this apartment complex, everybody in this area gets tested for COVID. I know it's free for the Chinese citizens. I'm just not sure if it's free for us. So uh, we're gonna be tested and uh, there's no two ways about it. If they say you get tested, you get tested. And it's not just on this side, but it's over on this side too. And this lady here is security. So everybody going into our complex has to be wearing a mask and gets her temperature taken before they're allowed into the complex. So these are some of the things that they do in China to make sure that COVID is held under control. And uh, I think it's a great thing. I, I don't mind going through the, the, the motions of uh, having a COVID test. I don't mind going through the motions of having my temperature taken every time I go into the, into the complex. I, I think uh, to, to keep people safe, healthy, and, and content, I think it's a small price to pay. And the thing is that they're slotted for uh, 300,000 of these tests to be done today in Nanning City because that ugly COVID-19 reared its ugly head here a couple of, well, a week or so ago. And uh, this is the way that the Chinese deal with it. Uh, the nurses, what, what's happening here right now is the nurses haven't made it here yet, so people are starting to get in line for, for their test. It's, uh, it's one of those things. So this isn't the only site. They're not gonna do 300,000 here today. Uh, but around the city of Nanning, you have these in different areas. So after the end of this day, 300,000 Chinese people in the city of Nanning are going to be tested for COVID-19. And you can see here on the street of Nanning, this is a different area, but uh, I've noticed, Wei Fong and I have been traveling around Nanning a little bit today, uh, doing some chores, and I've noticed a number of these places. So on Ho Chi Lu, where we live, is not the only place that they're doing it. And these people are lining up for their COVID-19 tests. This is all over Nanning City, I'm telling you, and they're coming out by the thousands. Well, as I said before, uh, they, they figure that they're going to have 300,000 people tested just today in Nanning City. So uh, how's, how's that for being efficient in what they do? Everybody's wearing a mask. Uh, it is surreal, isn't it guys? You know what I mean? This is one of the reasons why we don't have a problem with COVID on the scale that they do in the Western world because 
they take it to the streets. They deal with it and they deal with it properly. People have been lining up all day to get tested for COVID-19 here, all over Nanning City. And this is Ho Chi Lu. This is where we were this morning, uh, just outside, actually outside my apartment complex. And uh, they'll be lining up here all night long. Uh, they don't stop at five o'clock. It's 6.30 now and they'll be oh, yeah. going all night long. They've got to do 300,000 people today. So there's just no way that they're going to be able to stop at five o'clock. And as you can see, everybody, like everybody is wearing a mask. It's one of those things that the Chinese take all of this very seriously. And uh, you know, they're patient. They, uh, they wait their turn. So this, everybody, is what mass testing for COVID-19 looks like in mainland China. This is why they can get her done, because everybody comes out, stands in line, and does exactly what they're supposed to do. Chances are Wei Fong and I won't come out until about 3 o'clock in the morning to get ours done, because they will be going all night. Uh, look at how patient these people are. As you can see, it's not a pleasant experience getting this uh, swab in the back of your throat, but it's the only way to do it here. And this, as I say, is going to be going on all night long here in Nanning, China. One of the things I'd like to bring to your attention is the way that the Chinese people work together. You've got security here. You've got police officers here. You've got medical staff here. You've got regular citizens here. You've got women, children, fathers, grandfathers, grandmothers, uncles, aunts. You've even got your, your local Guilao on the corner here in Nanning, China. And everybody is actually working together. We have no anti-maskers. We have no conspiracy theorists. We have none of that. And everybody is moving in the same direction to get this done. And that's one of the things that maybe the West could learn from the Chinese people on actually how to do stuff like this. Uh, you know, I've been here in China for just about 18 years and every time I see something like this, it basically amazes me. Uh, I met my wife Wei Fong in 2003, August of 2003. I, I came through the, the Hong Kong airport and I was lambasted by just about everybody because I wasn't wearing a mask. Middle of the SARS epidemic, exactly. A couple of years later, we were, we were sitting in uh, Bo Bai, about 400 kilometers away from the epicenter of the bird flu, chicken flu, exactly. Uh, and being a dumb Canadian, I'm sitting there, I'm not having a worry in the world. Now that I've lived here for a long time, and sort of understand what can happen by watching the West, I've learned, just like the Chinese people have learned, that this can get really serious if people do not take it seriously, don't go through the, the motions, and actually uh, mass test, quarantine, isolation, don't go out when you don't have to go out. All of the things that maybe your government is trying to tell you to do that you're not doing in the West. So. One of the things, as I say, one of the things that you could learn to do is to do what the Chinese do. Everybody moving in the same direction to uh, try to eradicate this COVID-19 because right now it's all over the world. And uh, yes, it's here in China also. And we're trying to get rid of it the best way we know how. Mass testing, quarantine, isolation, all of the things that I've mentioned before. Anyway, that's another video from Guilao 60. If you like this video, as always, like, comment, subscribe, push that share button. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to resubscribe. And whatever you do, guys and girls, don't forget to put a couple bucks in the children's Patreon account. It's for a good cause. Till next time, bye now.